Alright guys, I'm back and I'm going with this guy here. I'm sure I can find better ways to spend my time. And he is actually got a really fun weapon in my opinion as well. Once again it is a sword. <laughs> so many swords. But uh I think it is a pretty decent weapon, so yeah. Not really much to do in this camp probably. I I still have all that money. I haven't went back to play um, the other mode. I can't even remember when it's called. It's been a while. Jeez. So, yeah, his weapon is called the Striking Sword. Apparently. I don't exactly know why, but it's, it's a regular sword, but it does have quite a few cool, cool moves as well. Otherwise, he's pretty standard character stuff. Alright, so... Yep, yeah, same thing. So yeah, it's just a regular sword, but it does have quite a few cool moves. I believe this is the map where we got uh, the fat guy for uh, way. Yeah, as you can see. Let's see if I can actually hit this here. Yeah, if you hit them with that last attack, it's pretty, pretty fucking funny move. See if I can get that in a sec. I'm one of these guys. There we go. Fucking surfing on people. He even does that. And yeah, this is his Muso. I doubt I'm gonna be able to show his second one. Though honestly, this guy is probably going to be one of the main characters for Jin. He's probably going to be able to be selected a lot. Alright, so he, this guy here is running away. Alright, just run over here and then, then get killed yourself. So I don't believe... No. I can't remember exactly what level you get uh, the next Musou at. Alright, we got a couple of generals in here. And yeah, th this weapon I have is pretty pretty good actually. And I've got uh, the, guy th the guy's throwing axes in the secondary here. Which are still a really good weapon. Seriously. Especially since I picked up the unique one of them. I, I, I don't exactly know what they're called, the the gold ones. Can I actually, can I see that from here? Yeah. These ones here. I actually picked up two of them. That are unique, or whatever you would call them. Anyway. Pretty good weapon. Yeah, this map seems kind of small, but okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the map where we... We got the uh, the fat guy for way. I think we're gonna have to take this uh, way. And there's usually a ladder there. Or am I gonna have to go all the way around? Nope. <laughs> I just noticed that bridge there. Yep. I've been here for a while. Alright, they're just gonna open the gates. Just take ages to do it. What? Like, I didn't do anything. I've just been sitting here. Taking out everyone. Alright, well. I'm going well so far. And I think one of the things about the uh, the later missions, unfortunately, is they don't have a lot of the unique enemies to face, really, apart from some of the later Shu generals, and really there's not that many later uh, Wu characters, so a lot of the enemies we're, we're going to be facing here are going to be generics, and I'm pretty sure the this guy here will be generic too. 
He may have a slightly unique model, but probably nothing that much. So yeah, a lot of the enemies we're probably going to be facing as Jin are probably going to be generic <laughs> for the most part. Or shoot, characters, which we've seen a lot of already. <laughs> Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, there's only two of them. All right, and I, I, I haven't been surfing on people. I should, I should uh, rectify that. <laughs> the ridiculousness of that move. Alright, I think the, the slowdown is a little better there. I don't exactly know why my PS3 was like that. I don't know. Maybe it was just the map, I don't know. I refuse to be defeated. I'll hold myself up in the castle if I have to. Holding himself up in his castle isn't going to change anything now. Why does he have to make it so difficult? Do not limit your options to what is right in front of you. If we cannot get in through the gates, we will find another way. I think I know where we're going now. Launch a surprise attack on the enemy main camp from the mountains behind it. Place the ladders in the base we just captured. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Usually they'll get you to go around the whole map, so it isn't really in that much of a surprise. Can I have a horse? Well, moving our ladder anyway. And there is probably going to be a lot of rebellions, just to let you know. Since Jin pretty much took over Wei. <laughs> they pretty much took over Wei's government, or whatever you would call it at this point. I guess they are a kingdom. But yeah, most of these guys we're going to be facing are generics. Though in 7, I believe they did give uh, slightly unique models to them. I, I don't know if they'll do the same here. I believe, at least. I can't exactly remember. It's been a while. Alright, can I just jump off here? I think so. I think he's dead. This has been a colossal waste of time. I am weary of having to deal with you. And that's pretty much it. I don't know if we can get this thing here. Yep. So that was a pretty short one. Not that I really mind. <laughs> Man, I'm finally trying to finish this game, honestly. Because already Extreme Legends has come out. I don't get every game, of course, and already Hyrule Warriors has pretty much been announced and information is coming out on that. Not that I'm particularly going to get it because I don't have a Wii U, but, you know. It's kind of weird how they went with Zelda for... <laughs> the next Warriors game, or one of them. But I imagine it would get them some attention at least. But anyway, <laughs> that's in the future. And once again, we're probably going to be attacking Shu, because that's what Wei likes to do, over and over again. Can't really fault them for that, though. Alright, so we have new guy here, too. This is actually the guy that uses the throwing axes. 
and he is new to Dynasty Warriors 8 as well. This guy here, he looks really weird, but anyway, I'll see you guys next time on Dynasty Warriors 8.